Bonjour mon ami and welcome to a brand new series. My name is Twitchy and we are playing Oxygen Not Included from those wonderful people at Clay Entertainment. They're the guys that made Don't Starve, uh, Invisible Ink, Mark of the Ninja. Some very, very good games here. The latest offerings from them is a space colony simulator of all things. This is in super early access. If you go to Steam, you will not see it for sale there. You have to go in through Cly's website and make things work like that. These are our first three crew members, and I'm going to go around and rename all of these, for they are not the names I wish to use. Now, I'm going to honour my patrons in today's uh, playthrough. We're going to have Mad Frank straight off. Over here, I think we shall have Miss Aligned. And then over this side, we have George. George. Um, I'm not going to put last names in because that's always a little bit dodgy in the internet. So we're just going to call this one George. The Leaky Paradise. You know what? I think we're going to go with that particular name. Well, who do we have here? We have a bodybuilder, a runner, two runners, in fact. Okay. What this means, not really all that important at this early point in the game. You can see we have been teleported in. I'm going to hit space to pause. Uh, your crew has awoken miles beneath the surface of an unfamiliar terrestrial body. Oddly, they have no recollection of how they got there. Maybe it's best to start digging. Maybe it is. But as I say, I'm going to pause. Brilliant. And we can have a look around at what's going on here. You can see we've got water. Water is good. If I press F1, you can see we've got oxygen. Oxygen is also good. We've got carbon dioxide up there. Not so good. Okay, that is the basic idea of how you keep these guys alive. If I press the G key, we get a little dig tool here. I'm going to definitely dig out a bit of space. Now, do we want to go into here? I think we do. Having an accessible water system right there would probably be very useful. Now, you can see these guys are going to go around and do the job that is assigned to them. There is also a prioritization um, system in this game. I can go through, I don't know, say I want to do these ones better, put them up to seven. As well as that, there is also this whole bunch of building materials down the bottom here. The thing I know that I need to make pretty much straight away is some storage. Uh, the storage is... It doesn't get to be a big issue, but it becomes a bit of an issue relatively early on. As well as storage, we also have to sleep and we have to eat and deal with what happens after you eat. I'm, I'm talking about poo. So we, we need to go and deal with that. To do with that, I am going to build myself a ladder. This seems like actually a very good place just to throw a ladder going up and down. And because I feel this is more important, we're going to prioritize these ones over that one. The water is quite important, but it's not quite as important as things like where to sleep, where to um, eat and things like that. You can see that we've got this tile mark. I'm also going to put these down here. The tile tile, I suppose, is what we could call it. And at the same time, we're then going to build a second level here. I think this is where we're going to let them sleep. This is definitely where I am going to let them sleep. And perhaps on the other side, we can build ourselves a small washroom. Now, we need to dig out the area above it. Now, these guys can only really dig sort of four up and down. Uh, this is what I have noticed during the digging phase of... I have played this game before. Uh, well, not I've played this game before. I had a quick, <coughs> quick blast on it yesterday got myself uh, 12 days in so I'm not super super experienced as you can tell because I keep pressing the three button to speed up time instead of the tab as is actually necessary okay so straight away we are starting to run into storage issues so I think I'm gonna make this my little storeroom here so I'm just gonna pop down loads of them I know that we're have no matter how many I put down we're still gonna run out of problems here unfortunately just saying hey this storage is all I want that's not good enough I've got to be able to click on it back here and tell it what I want to keep in now at the moment I'm just gonna put everything in there and once they've all been built I'm gonna keep everything in all of them because that just seems like an ideal way to do things I'm sure as we move on and we come up with uh, better ways of sorting stuff out we will have a more organic sorting system of some description I'm a little worried about what's gonna happen if I dig this block out so I'm gonna just cancel that those two and we'll see what happens uh, as the digging continues now the ladders going up that is good but that's not quite the bit that I really wanted to prioritize so I'm gonna get the nine here uh, toilets is a must and in fact we'll go that far over for beds as well 
hopefully, as long as everything works out all right. Now you can see these guys, every time they break some stuff and dig, oh, 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 the map moves far. You can see there are things that drop, these things are down here. Now it's gonna take these guys coming along, picking them up and putting them into the storage to tidy that up. Or we have the sweep function here. And if I just click and drag, you can see all the things that need picking up have been highlighted here. This is going to take a little while for these guys to get round and do that. But do that, they will. Ah, we have a problem. Look, these guys have got no oxygen up here. Let's let's turn this off. You can see there is some oxygen, but nowhere near enough. So we need to think about that. To do that, you can see here we've got the uh, algae deoxygenizer. But we don't really have much uh, algae. Let's have a look up here. This is where all our... Um, oh, night time already. Oh, I meant to get a bed down. This is where all our materials are kept. And if we have a look in organic, you can see we've got fertilizer and algae. Algae you literally dig up from around the way. Let's, let's see if we can find any sand, stone, sand, coal. You can see there are a lot of different materials. Uh, there's some algae. Here's some algae right here. So we need to go carry on digging up to get that at some point. Uh, should we read these basic controls? Click and move them around. It's as simple as that. What else do we have here? Uh, duplicate movement. We, we already also discussed that. And uh, colony management just tells you how to make the dig tool. That's fine. So first night people spent on the floor. Maybe not the best way to organize our colony, but it does work relatively well. I'm also going to get this dig tool out and start digging over this way if we can. Just to make uh, make room, you know, make room. Oh, look, they're eating. Eating means we need to start thinking about stuff. Okay, so these are outhouses. They're not the highest tier um, sanitation areas, as you can imagine. But I'm going to put down three of those here. We'll leave some space here for other things that need doing. But what do we need on the front of a toilet? Ah, we need some materials before we can carry on doing. Thankfully, you see this here. These are... Oh, this is dirt. Down here, copper ore. Now, the copper ore is the metal that is being asked for during this uh, door. So, you can see it's just been unlocked as we collected it. So, I'm going to put one of those down there and a tile up on top. And we can seal our toilet off. Now, there's still a lot of uh, vacuum over here. If you look very carefully, you can see stuff floating up here. That's because this material, oxalite, is making stuff. I have never seen this water act quite so, um, so, so bouncy. Quite so bouncy. I'm going to pull this all the way down here so that we can actually get down and get that stuff. That, that would be nice. If we could store it away, I think that would be a good and right thing to do. Okay, I'm going to let these guys just kind of pitter around and do a few of these jobs that I've already queued up. And we'll come back, well, with some bedroom building, I think. Okay, here are the outhouses being built. That is great. I would like to slightly raise the priority on these two bits of dirt here. So we can just kind of clear this stuff out. I think that would be quite a good thing to do. Pa pow All right, nice. There appears to be a little bit of contaminated water on the floor. That is unfortunate. It's going to drop down into our water here. We don't really want that, but I don't know how to stop it happening. So we're just going to have to live with it, it turns out. Okay, so we can see all this sand is falling down. Something I'm going to do is just prioritize this top row just to make sure the sand gets broken first. I think that would be a good idea. We've got a mop. Okay, can we mop these contaminated liquids? Is that is that a thing that can happen here? This is something I've not used. I would like to find out what happens. So let's... Um, once again, prioritize them up. Uh, I could have set the priority earlier, but I keep forgetting to do that. When when you set this, set the set the job, you can actually tell them to 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 be a higher priority. But look at that. There we go. They're going around and mopping everything up. That's that's great. We're starting to run out of this oxalite, so we're going to have to start thinking about how we produce oxygen. And to produce oxygen, there are a few things we need. Are we in night time already again? Wow. I think I should slow down time. I don't appear to have the time to think that I kind of wished I had. I'm going to start by putting uh, three cots down. One, two, three. Just kind of pack them in there. I'm also going to put them up to super high priority. Super high priority. Okay, that's nice. As soon as daytime rocks around, 
these guys should wake up and go and do stuff with this. I hope so. Anyway, let's cram through our night. We appear to have a red alert. Ah, oh, no, this is just the toggle button. That's totally fine. Learn how to prevent disease. Contaminated water is yucky substance that erupts contaminated oxygen, that emits a contaminated oxygen and can cause disease in your duplicants. Uh, mop it up and reduce stress. Okay, so stress is a thing that happens up here. You can see each person is listed down individually with their percentage of stress. So that's something we need to keep an eye on. Right, finally we have beds for everyone. We have somewhere to poo. These guys also get um, food out of the ration box here. You can see we have 18,000 calories on the offer. So that's pretty good. All this sand appears to be falling down still. This is, this is kind of bad, but... I suppose we can deal with it in some way. Food time! Yeah! Alright, awesome. Look at them there. Snacking down like some champs. With all this uh, arranged up here, I think it's time for us to build our second layer. This is going to kind of be... Oh, look at that. I kind of made a weird shape. This is going to be the amenities floor? Or the one... This, this floor here. We're going to have um, sanitation over this side and living quarters over this side. So I think maybe above sanitation might be the best place to put some power. I'm not sure whether it is, but I, I feel like it is. So we will see what's going on with that. Uh, George seems to be a little bit narcoleptic here. There's a little bit, yeah, narcoleptic sleep is a thing. If you hover over the top of all the uh, little duplicants here, they uh, give us a full rundown of all the different things that they are experiencing and the environment around them. As we can see, the oxygen is pretty good, but they are, they're all feeling pretty grimy at the moment. So we need to start working on some things there. Unfortunately, none of this can be achieved until we get ourselves a little power system on the go. So I'm gonna do this just to prioritize that stuff over everything else. Getting down here would be nice, getting the algae would be lovely, but it's not really what we're super after. No, what we're super after is some power. And then we'll, I will demonstrate what the, uh, what the runner is all about. Hey, what do we have here? A load of carbon dioxide with some plants. These plants are going to prove to be useful at some point. Uh, we will probably find out next episode. Because I don't think we're going to get onto farming today. Because this is quite... Just making sure your duplicates can eat, sleep and be merry is actually a full-time job all on its own. Okay, the oxygen is definitely becoming a bit of an issue. The oxalite has run out. So... As soon as this comes through, I'm going to go power. There's the power. We get a manual generator. I'm going to pop that down there. I'm also, right next to it, going to pop a tiny battery. Okay, so power is created, put into the battery. But how do we connect up the battery and the power? Well, of course, it's through wires, just like that. Uh, okay, we're just going to let these guys run around and hopefully make all this stuff for us. Oh, there goes the wires in place. That is amazing. And here comes the generator. Eventually, slowly, it will get there anytime now. Yes, we are there. So now that that's been set, I'm going to go into our jobs. And we can see here, generation of power. We probably want one of our runners to be doing so. So I'm going to kill these guys' jobs. Because these guys are going to go around and do all the other jobs. George is pretty much just going to be a power person. He can sweep, he can deliver, but everything else I think we will turn off and see what happens. Uh, let's get rid of the jobs screen. Okay, cool. Power is going on, but we have no oxygen here. And oxygen is necessary for people to be healthy, right? So I'm going to pop that in there. Uh, and of course connect it up with power. Now, the word that is not very descriptive. So what is this? This is an algae deoxygenator. It takes algae from our stores and using a little bit of power, um, converts it into oxygen, which should hopefully start to flow around the base. Uh, I'm also going to measure up this for a little bit of knocking down. Okay, cool. One thing I can show you very quickly now, this printing pod is now has a duplicate available. This is literally on a timer. Um, if we if we print this one out, I will show you the timer. Who are we going to get here? I'm not sure. We've got a runner, a miner. I think we're going to have a miner. Okay, naturally robust, but a little bit of a yokel, so they cannot do the research. That's okay. Uh, these mouth breathers use more oxygen. Oxygen is a little bit of a problem. Chef would be nice, but we're not going to do that. Okay, so Camilla, we want to use you. Uh, 
right, and we are going to rename you... I don't know. We're going to call you Zack, as it happens. Uh, names are a little bit weird in this game anyway. I have seen plenty of people who appear to be female actually have male names. So, let's, you know, it's the glorious future that we live in here, where no one is really that bothered by gender. Okay, let's come in and have a look at our... Furniture. Furniture was the one I was looking. Just so we could put another building, uh, another cot in. Because Zach here doesn't have anywhere to sleep. That is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. The uh, oxygen... De uh, sorry, the algae deoxygenator still cranking out there. If we press F1, you can see it's kind of all floating down. But there's lots of carbon dioxide where people sleep. So maybe we need to do something about that. There are ways to do deal with that and we will get on, on that very soon. I'm not sure if we're going to use an, uh, an algae deoxygenator or there's this thing here and we need to get farming research for that. Uh, I think we're going to do our research over this side. That, that kind of seems, seems like a plan to me. So if I was to prioritize a seven just to make a little bit of room here, that seems like a Super good idea. Food time! All right, cool. Uh, also, we're going to have to start sweeping up and tidying this place up. But we are doing relatively well. We have places for everyone to sleep. We have generations of oxygen and power. So that's all good. Places for people to do their buzziness. I think I'm even actually maybe going to seal this one in entirely just for cleanliness sake. Lots of different gases and toxic vapors get produced here. So we're going to do that. There are ways of tidying up the gases, but unfortunately, research is needed for that. In fact, talking of research, let's get our first research station underway, shall we? I think I think we shall. Uh, of course, as with everything, we need to hook up a little bit of power. That seems pretty good here. Now, did we not have a scientist or something like that? We've got a physician. Mad Frank is a physician. It's not quite what we're looking for here, is it? I don't think so. No one appears to be super good at research. We're not going to put someone as just that. That's fine. Now, inside almost all of these machines, you would expect it to try and um, try and just make stuff. Unfortunately, that's not the case. First, we need to assign a type of research. And we know we want farming tech because we want this algae terrarium. We also get a compost bin and a planter box, all of which we are going to use as soon as the research is done. So we've selected that. We now need to start making research points. Now, you select that up here, and then you can tell it to continuously do that. Now, of course, you could, like, queue up single single blips, but there's no reason to do that at all. Uh, so we're going to make five blips of research here before continuously making our low-tier research. Mad Frank, the scientist, is getting onto it. I know he's not a scientist, but he is in real life. So we'll leave him there brilliantly. Okay, what else do we have going on? It's a little, a little bit of a shame that the four that got used was that one. Um, I was kind of hoping for the one that looks a little bit more like an A. That's uh, unfortunate, but not unworkable. Okay, I have noticed that our toilet is super overflowing with stuff, so I'm going to just tell them to sweep that out, because I'd like that to be clear. The colony does require a food source, though, so I'm going to take some tiles throw them over this way. I just, I feel this is a good way. I'm going to also prioritize these brilliantly. And we will try and put ourselves a food output down here. We've got this microbe muncher or musher or something like that. I'm going to pop that there. This is going to be one of our main ways of making food, at least to get going with at the beginning of this game here. Uh, we also need power. Now, power, thankfully, can just kind of be rooted around wherever you want. So I'm actually going to drop a line all the way down here, and that should hopefully all connect. I'm a little worried that maybe they can't reach up here. Little worried about that. Uh, also, you can see at the top of my, uh, the top of the list of items there, next duplicate, a uh, thousand seconds or so. Now, obviously, the speed multiplier that we're at um, does affect that. So, going at double speed as I am, it's ticking down pretty nicely. In fact, I'm going to get all the way up to triple speed so we can watch this tick over here. There is a power issue. Okay, maybe we need some more batteries put down. We can definitely work on that tomorrow. Oh yes, we can. Right. I just want to get this food sorted and then I feel we are going to be completely self-sufficient. We have oxygen underway, we will have food, sleep, 
poop arrangements and a little bit of research on the go and that will be amazingly good like amazingly good I'm gonna hit F1 and see where all our carbon dioxide is building up I think what I'm going to do um, we will deal with the oxygen problem as well so I'm gonna deconstruct and I'm gonna make a little oh it doesn't like that why doesn't it like that uh, because I'm in the overlay. There we go. Brilliant. I'm going to cancel that last deconstruct there. I didn't quite want to do that. Okay, with that, it's going to make a sort of a carbon dioxide well, if you will. Uh, it will make a little down space for places to hide in. Uh, let's cancel that. To... to diffuse into to drop down into okay so there we go with that done uh, I'm just gonna push up the priority of this as well now we can go into oxygen algae terrarium is not quite done we still need ooh, 12 points of research which misaligned is currently underway of doing it takes a hundred kilos of dirt which is fine you can take the dirt I really am not bothered about you doing that Okay, it looks like we might actually have a problem with the wires here. I mean, that's okay. We can build ourselves a little, like, uh, helper ladder or something like that. Unfortunately, it's poo time, so everyone needs to go and deal with stuff. It's been that specific amount of time since they ate. Uh, Zach here, going around doing some wonderful stuff. Zach, you have beautiful eyes. I just have to say, look at this. Oh, that, that luscious hair. It's amazing. Wires going in well. Uh, George making some power there. Uh, let's have a look and see how much carbon dioxide gets pushed out here. It's a little bit, but it's not loads. Uh, obviously, the oxygen coming from there is definitely making up for that. Though we have a lot of carbon dioxide here, and it's getting pushed all down to the bottom, as you would expect. Now, where are we on the research? We are getting close. Getting close. Okay, putting a little ladder in there definitely did the job that I needed them to do. So the wire goes all the way across. And this is now saying that it doesn't know what to do. So I'm going to turn mush bar made out of dirt and water into, into food. Sorry, yeah, I'm going to turn dirt and water into food. Little bit of a problem that it may cause diarrhea, but we will deal with that. The next one requires a little bit of farming underway. So I'm going to open the food. We're going to go for the planter box. We cannot go for the planter box because we're still waiting on that one more bit of research. I believe it is here ticking away very nicely. Let's just watch this bar fill up. In fact, let's just have a quick look around and see what we've done here. I am noticing a whole load of stuff on the floor, so I'm going to prioritize the... Oh, we have a problem. Do you, do you guys see this problem? Mad Frank, I think, is trying to kill himself. Let's put a small ladder in. Can he Can he do this? Can, is that a thing that can be done? I really hope so. I think, in fact, we're going to prioritize this to the highest level here. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Night time is upon... No! Ah, uh, I... I uh, this is bad. This, this is all types of bad. How do, how do we make this not a thing? Oh, uh, straight away we have our first death. I am not even sure how he got in there. We're going to have to just blame Mad Frank for being a little bit of a fool when it comes to water management. I really thought we were going to do that well there. Okay, decor. We can do something about this. I wasn't really expecting to be able to show this straight away. But here's a tasteful monument to our falling comrade. Ah, that's, that's super unfortunate. Super, super unfortunate. Hopefully, getting down the ladder will be a thing here. Um, let, let's see what happens. I'm going to prioritize the monument at a seven and see what happens here. I'm sure Mad Frank will return in some guise or form. That's, uh, yeah, that's more than a little bit unfortunate there. But these guys are now working on his a monolith, his monument, his death buyer, if you will. Takes a little bit of a while, it turns out. I wasn't quite uh, aware of how long it took. I never had to do this before. I've not had a duplicate be so stupid as to just go and stand at the bottom of the water for so long. Uh, we'll, we'll have to try and do something about Well, we've already put the ladder in place, so that will do that. I'm really interested to know what's going to happen when this gets completely done. Okay, that's good. And he just sucked up his body like that. Wonderful. <laughs> and with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this 
first adventure in oxygen not included. If you have enjoyed what has gone on here, please do let me know. Leave a like, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, just make some noise, do whatever you can to pass on the information to me that you enjoyed this. And I will see you next time where we're going to try and move all the water together, maybe get some more research underway. Still with the research that we have discovered, including the algae terrarium and the planter boxes. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.